The first experiments with freshwater fish farming begin in Tuscany in the 20th century, during the 50s, thanks to the farmers of the Gafagnana mountain area. The seawater fish farming would begin around the 70s, thanks to the collaboration of the fishermen cooperative of Orbatello and the entrepreneurs of the Veneto region, the first hatcheries are built in Italy and the first bass is reproduced in captivity. Around the mid-70s, the first fish farms are built. La Rosa, Il Vigneto, La Cosa. Today in Tuscany, there are 45 fish farms reproducing freshwater and saltwater fish, and the number of species bred is increasing. While trout is the main freshwater fish bred in Europe, along our coasts, bass and gilthead are mostly bred. But we must not forget the great variety of fish which are bred in small quantities and which we may find in our fish markets. Eel, diplodox, charax, sole, sea perch, romb, as well as mussels, clams, oysters and shrimps. Experiments are being run for the reproduction of other species such as pagello, chernia, tuna and octopus. The reproduction cycle begins with the stabling of the reproducers, then continues with the insemination of the eggs. These are delicate stages which may take place in specific structures and under strict supervision on behalf of specialized staff. A female usually lays between 3,000 and 4,000 eggs, which in a natural environment would rapidly become food for predators while a protected environment allows a greater number of these to reach an adult stage. The larvae obtained from the hatching of the eggs are kept in limpid salt water pools the first few days and at a temperature suitable to their development. During this stage they feed on plankton, that is, a live nutrient which must itself be produced in hatcheries. When the larvae begin to resemble a fish, they weigh about half a gram. They are fed with an entirely natural mixture of fish and vegetable flowers and oils, mixed in appropriate quantities. This diet satisfies their nutritional needs and ensure the quality and safety of what they are fed. When they weigh between three to five grams, the baby fish are brought to the fish farm, where they remain until they reach a size suitable for selling. This stage, which lasts about two years, can be reached in different types of structures. Pools along the coast or in net cages anchored in the open sea, if we are dealing with marine species, or brackish water fish. The most traditional form of fish farming in Italy and in Tuscany is still represented by pools or basins, including coastal lagoons. Thanks to modern technology, even along the Italian coastline characterized by strong tides, floating net cages can still be installed. They are anchored at a certain distance from the shore in pristine waters and in the middle of strong marine currents that disperse the catabolites of the fish and bring oxygen-rich water. During their entire development, farm fish are observed and checked upon by highly specialized staff. Even though the production system seems simple, their level of technology and sophistication is comparable only to the occasional harshness of the environment in which they are developed, the sea. Fish farming is most likely the activity which has the lowest impact on the surrounding environment, be it coastal or open sea. Studies and continuous monitoring of water quality and of sediments ensures that the installations do not affect the environment negatively. Once the fish have reached a size suitable for selling, they are sent to the market. 
The fishing is based on market's demand, hence freshness is ensured, and Tuscan farmed fish may be offered to the fish markets throughout Italy and Europe only a few hours after they are collected. The freshness of the fish is one of its most appreciated qualities and represents an important sanitary guarantee. Farm fish from our coastal areas and inland waters are always very fresh and have a tab bearing information on origin, type of production and date of fishing. The inspections carried out at the farms make the fish on the market completely traceable. The compromise between Tuscan fish farmers and sustainable development is clear. But, besides the preservation of the natural environment, this compromise also includes the increase in social capital and the economic growth of the region, all generating wealth that can be equally shared by the trading and crafts as well as restaurant and tourism industries. If Italy is one of the major producers of farmed fish, with a production of over 230,000 tonnes of trout, bass, gilt head, eel and mollusks, aside from the species which are for the moment still of minor importance for the industry, Tuscany represents one of the three major areas of production of fish in this country, with a production of over 5,000 tonnes. The region can also count on first-rate businesses of an international scale, well adjusted to their environment and on highly qualified staff. However, its development, which aims mainly at quality and at differentiating the offer, cannot but pass through a substantial scientific research program. For some time now, studies sponsored, as mentioned, by the region of Tuscany through the ARSIA have been carried out on the biology of new candidate species for the region. Other studies being carried out are those on new technologies to lower the impact on the environment and on resources and those on advanced methods for early monitoring of animal well-being in all its aspects. Furthermore, fish farming, one developed in the same waters and seas where extractive fishing takes place, complements it without creating any hindrance. The size of the fish produced is consistent and the fish is present on the market year-round and at established prices. Fish farming also generates employment in agreement with the social context of the given areas both within the fish farming business as well as within related businesses. The farmed fish as well as the water utilized and the feed are periodically checked both by the farms themselves and by the public health offices. Thanks to these inspections, when we eat farmed fish, we know what we are eating. In conclusion, Fish farming is a solution that will allow the present and future generations to eat products of the sea which are high in quality, safe and affordable without endangering resources and the marine environment. <laughs>